Hi everybody, welcome to the advanced tutorial for Microsoft Word, lesson number one, inserting screenshots and inserting SmartArt. In the first half of this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to insert a screenshot using different programs and images open on your computer that can be inserted into Microsoft Word, allowing you to give another visual effect to your document. So if you were preparing a tutorial for your students on how to create a PowerPoint slide, you can in essence take snippets or snapshots of different tools bars and PowerPoint images, etc., that can be laid out into your Microsoft Word document so that your students are able to see uh, the information in written form as well as in picture form. So if we wanted to do that, we can go ahead and go to Insert and click where it says Screenshot. And I'm going to do a screenshot um, of PowerPoint. So I'm going to go to Screen Clipping. And notice that PowerPoint has opened up. In order for this to work, you have to have the program in which you're taking a snapshot of open. So because I'm using PowerPoint, I had already opened the program prior to my screenshot. Now you'll see that the screen has turned white or faded. What you're going to do is you're going to take your cursor that looks like a cross, and you're going to drag your mouse to make a box of what you'd like to take a snapshot of. I, for the purpose of uh, this snapshot, I'm going to be showing my students how to create a um, to, uh, PowerPoint slide with this part, these tools in the toolbar. So I have taken a snapshot of that toolbar. And now what I can do is I can wrap my text. OK, and just like I've shown you in the previous tutorials, you can different, give it different sizes. You can lay it into your um, document however you'd like. And that's, what, that's all there is to doing a screenshot. Again, your program has to be open. You can take a screen clipping of any di all different types of images that you'd like, and then you can lay it within your document and within your text by text wrapping. The other part of what I'm going to be showing you in this tutorial is how to create smart art graphics. I'm going to open up a new document, and I'm going to go to Insert. Smart Art. And this is where you can create uh, different types of lists, cycles, processes. This would be great for your, um, you science teachers out there, uh, social studies, if you're teaching your uh, students hierarchy or relationships. Um, these smart art graphics are already prepared for you. So all we'll have to do is change colors and text. So let's say I wanted to do um, a hierarchy. I can do an organizational chart. I can click OK, and now I have my hierarchy. Now what I'm going to do is change the colors. Okay, I can do all different types of um, colorful uh, charts. I can do one um, set of colors with different shades. You can choose whatever you'd like to do. I'm going to choose a colorful one. And up here, I'm going to type name, and then I'm going to type page one. And then I'm going to type detail number one, detail number two, detail number three. And now what you have is an example of if this is how you wanted your students to lay out information for a graphic organizer. They could put their name their page number, and then on page one, you would want three details about um, story order. Maybe if you were doing this and you wanted it to be um, three characters, you could on page one, you could put character one, character two, character three. All different options that you have uh, for this type of graphic. Another type of graphic that you can do is if you insert smart art, maybe you want to do a cycle of some sort. So I'm going to type text cycle. And this is going to be, um, maybe I'll do my seasons. So I can do fall, winter, spring, summer. And I can take out that text box, and now I have four text boxes. So maybe on my screen I want to show my students the four different um, stages are four different seasons in our year. You can put in input any type of text 
that you'd like for these different images. Again, if I was um, wanting to change or edit this smart art, I can just click the image. I can change the colors. Okay, I can do it in red, green, colorful. I can also change um, the styles of the arrows. Okay, so it's however, um, whatever kind of arrows you want. And if I click back in again, I can move this to the right, to the left. So if I wanted Summer to come to this part of my screen instead of on the left, it would go to the right. I can click right to left. Now, if you wanted to add a text box, you can add shape. And you can either click add shape before or, add or another um, stage of, the life, uh, of a life cycle. This is what you can do. You can add a shape and you can put it before or after. You can move it up and down, right or left. And again, you can change your text by highlighting, changing the fonts. You can change the colors. This can be formatted however which way you'd like. Smart Art is great because you are able to take um, your arrows and your text boxes and graphic organizers and they're already pre-made for you. So you just have to format it the way you want and then you can go ahead and use it at your discretion. You can add page borders, you can add clip art, you can, if you're working with the younger grades rather than words, you can put pictures in here. Same thing, you can get rid of what's typed in the box and you can, if you wanted to insert clip art, you could insert clip art. If you wanted to insert a shape here, you could insert a shape and that's what can go there. So that's how uh, smart art graphics are used. Again, um, you can choose whatever you'd like for your classroom, whatever would be fitting for your students. Please go ahead and practice doing a screenshot of some sort and also adding a smart graphic to your document. And then you can go ahead and upload it to our Google site and um, be sure to practice using those elements of page uh, layouts and borders and word art and changing your font and text. And then um, we'll, we'll be able to take a look at it and be sure that you were able to apply all of the skills necessary. If needed, please open up the written tutorial directions and follow those step by step. Feel free also to stop and start the video whenever um, you need to. I hope that you found this video useful and I look forward to um, speaking with you at the next tutorial. Thanks. Bye-bye.